Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Saturday, April 15th, 2017. It's tax day, right? But they're giving us a little bit of a break. So um, I, um, it's funny, I'm, my, as I'm talking, it says no backups for 27 days. So I'm pulling out my little backup chip to remind myself because I got to close that down or else it'll bug me while I'm watching it. So welcome. Hello. Thank you for doing all that you do. Hey, here's your message because I was rambling already. So your message today is this. Your observation of a thing changes it simply by observing it. You know, science has shown that, you know, when we look at something, we change it. You know, this, I, I always remember when I saw this in science years and years and years ago, and they study things under a microscope, and is it a wave or is it a particle? It depends on what you're looking at it, how you're looking at it, when you're looking at it. But this is, you know, what I think has a lot to do with, you know, which, I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg. But think of mindfulness when you just sit and you quietly observe your body. You change it. You know, when you do Reiki healing, you're putting focus on something on the body, on a part. You know, prayer, meditation for someone else. I'm putting attention. You know, I'm putting attention on you right now in a very odd, unusual way because I'm speaking to, like, you alone. But yet, anybody who watches this, I'm speaking to you alone, even though it could go to anybody. So just simply by observing things, you are changing them. So stop, smell the roses, observe the roses, observe your body, sit, get quiet, be mindful. Observe and change rather than just staying complacent and, and stuck in the same place you've always been. So take a little time to observe today. All right, let's look at some cards and numbers and energy for today and tomorrow. Ooh, what flew out? The stork. The stork flew out, but I'm going to put that back in. Oh, and now the fox is flying out. So the cards are very active today. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some stuff floating around again today. So today, all the numbers add up to two. That is a very harmonious unity, cooperative feminine energy that's coming at you today. That's kind of here. It's like the weather. It's like the temperature of the day. It's going to make you feel a certain way. From Lenormand, the fox, it did come out. So what does the fox say? It is about, you know, small businesses, um, home-based business. It could be about a sly, sneaky, deceptive person, friend, treachery, manipulation, deception. Tarot to go along with it is the Knight of Coins. So I would say this is more about your business. Um, interesting that these are two four-footed friends, fox and horse, or a knight on a horse. But the knight is definitely about movement. And the coin's definitely about money, resources, finances, family. So there's this movement going along. And I feel like it's about your home-based business. So today, take the energy of the two-energy day, the cooperative harmony, and allow things to just be in harmony. I think I've got pretty much a full alignment until 2.30 today. So I'm just going to allow, be cooperative. You know, I'll find time to have my lunch. You know, sit for a moment, bathroom break in between. Just, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm wearing a lot of green, you know, which goes along with both of these cards. But um, so find that time today. Cooperate as there's movement forward in probably a small business or something you got going on that might be like something, you know, volunteer or focus. You know, even housework, yard work. These are things that could be part of that Fox Energy too. And then tomorrow, all the numbers add up to three. It's Easter here in the U.S. And that is three is speaking your truth, optimistic, positive outlooks, um, optimism, creative expression, playfulness, speaking your truth. Uh, Tear to go along with it, 23, the mice. So interesting, the mice is often about that you know, behind the scenes kind of deterioration, um, stress, worry, loss, you know, hidden problems, fears, you know, some people could be having issues going around, you know, with family coming in and things like that. And then terror to go along with the mice is going to be the high priestess, you know, so the high priestess is that very intuitive, wise, knowing, um, uh, intelligent person, often a woman um, with two energies. So you may be that intuitive person who's feeling all the shifting and changing and moving. Because a lot of times when you get family together, when you have national holidays like this, you know, a lot of stuff happens. Um, I'm hoping that we in the U.S. and then around the world are safe tomorrow so that we don't have some things to worry about and be frustrated over or feel pain around the world. Um, but, you know, just be very careful. You know, speak your truth, get the energy out as you need to tomorrow. 
And there's your message. So we've observed it. It changed. So this month, um, what do we have going on? Um, check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, mitchellosborne.com. That's my psychic site. And the monthly spread is the partnership spread. It's a little discounted price. Next month will be the freedom spread. You can check that out and plan for that if you want. Also, mitchellosbornehypnotherapy.com. If you want to get a free consultation, about a 15-minute consultation to see if hypnotherapy is right for you and what you've got going on in your life. I'm about three weeks booked out right now, which is a good thing for me. Not so good for you if you want something sooner than that. But there you go. Namaste. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.